In our next community conversation, we're joined by Ray Nedzel, the Fringe Director and Co-Director of the Wizard of Oz at Live Arts. He's sitting down with Jacob. How's it going? That's right. I'm here with Ray today. You doing all right today? I'm doing great. Thank you. Thank you. And talk to me again. You're with Live Arts, correct? That's correct. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. And talk to me a little bit. You're co-directing The Wizard of Oz. Is that correct? Yeah. That's awesome. Good. Yeah. Cool. Uh, what I'm doing um, with The Wizard of Oz, it's a very, uh, it's a very well-known story, as you know. <clears throat> and um, it's a great thing, for the, I think, for the community because what we have here is a, a well-known story with a new interpretation. We have new people who've never been on the live arts stage working with the original artistic director of live arts, uh, John Gibson, who was the artistic director like for the first 18 years of live arts. Um, and he's come back to direct this show and I'm co-directing with him. And I worked with John before he left. <coughs> um, and so we have a great combination. We have new musicians who haven't performed there before. And the show is, um, it's a lot like the movie, but it's a new interpretation. I mean, the story is the same, right? The story of Dorothy Gale, um, runs away from home, tornado, finds herself in a new land, and then comes back and people say, hey, that was just a dream. And she says, I still have the shoes. And we're left with this idea, like, was it a dream? Yeah. <laughs> or was it, um, is it real? Because she has the ruby slippers and so, so, um, so it's been really fun to work on. I just, I just came from a, a light hang. So we're in, we open on the 22nd, and um, I believe that night's sold out, so I encourage people to get tickets soon. Um, like I said, it's a well-known place. So a lot of people are gonna come to see it, and, uh, and I hope they do. Amazing, you've kind of touched on it a little bit, but talk to me a little bit about the rehearsal process. How has that been like? Obviously, you were just touching on it. It's a little bit of a different twist. What has that been like? Well, our take on the, on the show is to present the script and the story as you know it, but take it as if it's been being performed by a company of actors that's been traveling around the nation in a year somewhere between 1940 and 1970, but it's a team, they performed this thing maybe 4,000 times, and so they just show up in a space and do it with what they found. So you walk into the theater and you're like, that's what it looks like, what are they gonna do with this? A lot of old uh, theater tricks, a lot of old theater magic, and then still, uh, the the musical has all the songs from the movie plus one more and the story is basically almost word for word the same so but we have this we have just a bunch of uh, ragtag actors like a traveling show showing up at live arts to do it now they're all local actors of course but our concept is that what if the story was retold from these actors with the real Dorothy Wow, okay, and, yeah. and you've been kind of giving me some little nuggets here and there. Without giving too much away, what are you so most excited for for audiences with this? Well, what I'm excited for is for them, that it's, it's, you know, it's the most watched movie, and it's the most rewatched movie in America. So what I'm excited for them is to be able to sit back, relax, and see how this story, what it could mean in the eyes, uh, reinterpreted as in the eyes of a, of a new cast. It's very been an ensemble process. So I have John and I are co-directors. We have a choreographer and a musical director and a vocal coach. We have dance captains, all, all the things that are like um, a typical musical. We've worked very much as a group, um, a lot of time put into trying to like figure out would it be like, how do you make flying monkeys fly and scary yeah. and funny all at the same time in the theater? So. Um, my favorite thing to look forward to is, I think, I don't know yet, but I'll, I'm looking for the audience reaction to the things that we've kind of gotten used to after rehearsing it for nine weeks. Amazing. We just got a couple more seconds, but real quick before I let you go, where can people get tickets and learn more? Oh, the best place, livearts.org, livearts.org slash tickets, um, and find out more there. There's a lot of information about the show and when to see it and how to see it. Amazing. Thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate right. it. Well, thank you. Of course. Yeah. And we'll send it back to Aaron.